Let's talk about games we're playing. Games? Fuck games. that. I'm done. How's the election <laughs> coming along? Any updates? Uh, it looks like Kanye won. <sighs> Congratulations. Yep. First Lady Kim Kardashian. Wait, what happened? Oh, I didn't put the new releases on? Is that what happened? No, you didn't. God damn it. Are there any new releases? <laughs> there probably are. It's it's a, it's a pretty heavy All right. season. I, like a big, for I will releases. have it yeah. really quickly. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what's going on. I just did all of those ads you could have been putting it on while I, I was talking about one of the new releases. I, I was, was too playing. busy taking CBD. What have ads. you been? Uh, what have you been playing, Ship? I've been playing uh, Yakuza like a dragon. Like a dragon. Nice. How's that going? That game is great. Mm. I am uh, really enjoying that game. So, mm. you guys, uh, have you ever played a Yakuza game? I have. I played a little of Yakuza Zero. Okay. I didn't find it was for me. What were your issues with it? Uh, there was too much not playing the game. Okay. I like That's, playing the game. This game is not for you still. Okay. <laughs> um, too much not playing the game? Is that, so what, there, is that what you just said? I would yeah. say I've played it for about three and a half or four hours. My uh, <laughs> my Xbox or my, my projector, one of the two, I, I'm guessing it's my Xbox, has done the thing where it lowers the brightness of the screen because it thinks you're not doing anything. Mm, that's exactly uh, what Wombat's not looking for. Not looking for, yeah. Mm. Uh, so Sounds I, like Avengers is a better game. No, it does not sound like that. At, oh, you know what I do in Avengers? No. I play the game. Yeah, but I don't know why. I don't know yeah, why I don't either. <laughs> and you're also, lo- there's a lot of loading times in that, let's be honest. Yeah, there's yes. a lot of sitting so in that There's, there's hardly any loading in Yakuza. It's, a, it's pretty remarkable, actually. Like, I was, it, it made me think like they have, uh, some of the loading screens have like the hints on them. Okay. They were going by so fast I couldn't read them. I'm like, how is this even going to work on next gen consoles? Like, you're not going to be able to see any of these, te- these like tips as they go across. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of narrative and, and cutscenes. Uh, the, the thing that's different about this one is it's a, it's a new character. This, far as i know okay. I, i'm not familiar with this character uh ichiban um he, so all of the wandering around the city doing like side stuff like eating at restaurants just exploring um, yokohama or wherever you're at um that's still the same but then when you get into battles it's no longer a beat up it's a turn-based rpg so it's it's very much like old style of say like the old Final Fantasies where you're wandering around a map and then you get close to an enemy and it like goes to a, a battle scene, but this is like more instant. But you're going in and you, you have turn based battles and it's got a whole RPG system and a party system and all of that. So I'm really enjoying it. I like the weird mix of wackiness and serious story at the same time. Right. As the Yakuza series is known for, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so it it's really good. I I would like to be playing more of it. Uh, I think it's like, like a, a series seventy X. hour game though. There's a series X upgrade for that, right? Or something. There is. Yeah. So I'm I'm playing it on Xbox One X right now, and then I will play that on the next system because I'm not going to get through all seventy hours of it or whatever. Uh, right. On this, system. I have faith in you. No, I don't. I have no faith. <laughs> 70 hours takes me a while now. Right. That's not happening. No. What else we have in new releases that I you like low key put that on the outline while you were talking? It's I perfect. Saw like, that. Well, like no, it's that's, like that's I did it yesterday. You playing Dirt 5? No. Yeah. I'd play I, Dirt 5. Yeah. I you would. But I would. Oh. I played a Dirt game, sure. Yeah, kid likes know. watching the, the Dirt games. Kids like Dirt. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've heard it's. Knows that. I've, heard, I've heard it's good. I'm sure it is. Play, yeah. Did you play any of that? Uh, any of those old adventure games, The Day of the Tentacle, or uh, Grim Fandango, or Full Throttle? That they're out again. They're on the Xbox now. They're on Game Pass. Nice. Yep. NHL '94 Rewind should be on Game Pass. Is it? No, but it should be. Uh, oh, 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 oh! It's the only way but, I'm going to play it. 
Gotcha. I thought I thought you were saying it was. I got excited for a second. Oh, I guess I uh, have the EA whatever, don't I? Or it's on EA that's part of Game Pass? Like I don't know how any of this that should be soon though, right? Should they be folding EA access into Game Pass soon? Oh, right. It's sometime in November, I believe. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how any of this works. I don't even know who won the Stanley Cup this year, so I, I'm not it was really me. into hockey. You it won the Stanley me. Cup? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, no problem. I didn't have to pull that off. I skated backwards. Ooh, that's a that's a good trick. What button do you push mm-hmm. to do that? Oh, I push the back button. Back button. Yeah. Like the menu Duh. button. B. Yeah. B for back. <laughs> what are you stupid? What else we got in we new have, releases? Uh, Watch Dogs Legion. How is it? I don't know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> you, to be honest, to be fair, you well, I guess. When did you ask for the code? I don't know. A couple of weeks ago. Right. You you were uh he was on time with his ass. Mm-hmm. Right. Fair enough. Okay. No, they just they just were like no. <laughs> right. Right. Well, that's, that's, you know, that's, that's their prerogative. Choice. It's a free country. Yeah, it's fine. They don't have to give you a code. No, they don't. They don't want to. But I, I you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I learned that from playing hockey. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I signed up for Ubisoft Plus or I don't know what it's called, but they have you, a th- you play games. You play games subscription because I figure like I could get this, and then Assassin's Creed's coming out, and I could play them on my PC, 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 and then talk about them on this dopey show. So I've been playing Watch Dogs for I only play started playing it today, and I played maybe like two hours of it. It's it doesn't. I mean, it's doing some cool things with the operatives, right? You have, like, you're playing, like, this, you know, the underground, you know. You really you have, uh, for the most part, did you turn on permadeath? I didn't turn on permadeath because. I've been told that's, like, a must. I'm so bad at games that I'm, I've already killed my ca- My character would be, would be dead already. I already, he already died. I know, and like then you'd have times. to have a new one. But I like this guy already. So I'm still figuring in... things out. Like if I maybe if I'd played more Watchdog games before, I would be more confident in my abilities. But I'm still really not sure, like really what's going on. I did not like the first one. It's missing. I don't know. It's it's so video gamey. I gotta say, like everything about it just screams like it doesn't. It's not immersive. I guess is what I'm saying. It's a you know they did a great job recreating London, as far as I can tell. Like I'm not. A, I don't really know London. But it looks like the graphics are great. It looks really cool. Like the design. Like it's so funny because like it's supposed to be like this totalitarian dystopia, but everything's really brightly colored in the game. Like all your characters are wearing like bright yellow jackets and there's like really bright artistic graffiti everywhere. So like the game world doesn't maybe reflect the reality which is going for. I understand why they would do it that way, but I don't know. At all times, I'm I, 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 shipwreck. You would it's your type of game in that it's got the big map with the things to do in it. But yeah, I I, I mean I picked it up because I had GCU locked in on it for like two years or something. Uh, but I have not had a chance to play it yet, partially because I'm scared that it's going to lock up my Xbox. Uh, right. The other part of that is simply uh i only had one day where i could really sit down and play it and when best when my copy came from best buy it was the case was literally cracked like a, an inch down from the top all the way through to the back so it you could bend the the case in half so i decided to go swap that one out at best buy that's why they want you to go digital is it? Best Buy is really encouraging you to go digital. They don't. They don't want your money. Just, uh, just download it next time. Nah, I, it's. It, it seems was, pretty it was cool. Cheaper to buy it. Like I got it for like thirty something bucks or whatever. Right, right. right. I know. It's nice. anyway. Watchdog Legions. It's. It's not super duper sucking me in at this at this early stage in the game, but we'll see how it goes. I turned on ray tracing. You have to turn that on, by the way, and like. You know, it's hidden in the. It's literally the last thing at the bottom of the the graphic settings. Um, I didn't real. I played for an hour probably without the ray tracing on. And. Um, yeah, I mean, like it looks. 
No one's going to fucking notice this shit. You're driving around the car. You're going to really notice the reflection how much in of, the mirror. How much driving are you doing in the game? It's a, it's a driving type of situation. It's an open Be- world game. It's typical open world like Because situation. that's what I didn't like about the first Watch Dogs is that it seemed like it was primarily a dri- like too much driving. It was too much going driving from location. It's probably a lot of driving, I'm thinking. But I... it has auto drive, which sucks. <laughs> it keeps cra- it crashed when I turned it on. I'm like I can crash myself. I don't need auto drive to crash for me. Um, yeah, because that's not what I want to do. I don't want to like drive around. I want to like go into a building and sneak around and no. shoot dudes in the head. They have that part too. They have a lot of that. But you're not. They don't want you to murder that much. But I did murder. I had to murder. I felt like I had to murder in one part, but it did tell you that you're not supposed to murder that much. But it's a mixed message. I yeah, because that's also what I'm looking for. Basically, I like my games to be murder simulators. Right. Maybe wait for Assassin's Creed because there's a different type of murder and it's less. Like, yeah, I, those videos show lots of Vikings with hammers Topical. smashing people in the face. I want to smash people in the face with hammers. Mm, that's probably your so, game. That's probably more my speed. Yeah. There's, so, there's only so many of these open world games you can. You yeah. Can play, right? Like, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Right now, I'm signed up for Yakuza. Watch Dogs is sitting over there, and right. then Cyberpunk is coming very soon. Right, is Cyberpunk is December, or is it? Is it though? <laughs> it's it's December. Yeah, yeah. It it'll be. I would be fine if it's delayed, honestly, because I have. Right. I I, I have like 150 hours worth of open world games sitting behind me. A big part of me wants to not play any more Watch Dogs and wait for Cyberpunk, but also like I feel like the combat's going to be pretty different in that. Like this is third person. And it's like it's pretty standard, like cover. Third I think person. Cyberpunk is going to be more no. role playing game, right? Yeah, yeah, RPG yeah, yeah. And then you game, can switch yeah. to third per- first person. I think. And yeah, that's going to be more more classic or open world RPG, and less. Right. I'm looking forward to yeah, but no, but there's driving in that. You get car. There's a whole thing about like the cars in that game and how you're driving, and that's a big part of the game. And, and in fact, they one thing that uh, Watch Dogs doesn't do is at least I can't find a, a button that gets you to a camera angle inside the car. So they have these cool, like, sort of future cars, but you can't see, like, the dashboard or anything. And I know Cyberpunk, you can. Uh, I don't know. Is there any pecking duck in, in that? Pecking duck or peeking duck? Pe- peking? Peking. <laughs> peking. Like, hello? Mm-hmm. Like, like peeking Crash Bandicoot? When he peeks <laughs> out from the screen to say hi yes. to you? Have you ever had good peeking duck, Shipwreck? No, I have not, but... But oh, uh, Yakuza, so there's there's several several cutscenes within the first three hours that are it's a oh. central theme. Really, you would very you would very much like uh, Peking Duck. How do you know what he would like? I guess I I've had more than one meal with him. Shipwrecked. Would you like Peking Duck? How I've never had it. I don't think. Maybe. Do you like scallions? Yeah, I like scallions. Do you like okay. skin? You, you, like you like crispy duck? Skin? duck? Do you like duck I don't skin? know if I like crispy duck. I I like. I mean, duck is fine. Yeah, it's it's duck. It's not fried duck. It's just got. Oh, I know. They they yeah. described in detail how it was made. You're talking yeah, about they American. Hang it over the thing. You're talking about the... American Peking duck, where like they give you the meat and you eat the meat primarily. The real one, it's you mostly just eat the skin and like stuff on it. I've I've been to the Peking duck house in Manhattan. I've been to the one in Hong Kong. I was gonna say that should be fairly authentic. I'm sure it's know. it's I'm sure it's pretty good. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. The pudding is delicious. It is. Yep. I don't think Shipwreck would like it. He only likes I, pizza. That is not <laughs> what? true. What? <laughs> he would like, he would I, like I have a duck. very How do you feel about, uh, what are you talking about? We were talking about, 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 uh, about your... We were talking plum about... sauce. About what plum sauce? sauce? Plum. Do you like plum sauce? Eh. We were talking about lot. Shipwreck's... We like, were talking about Shipwreck's eating habits tonight over dinner because Ty didn't eat his green beans. Okay. And Shipwreck eats... I asked him if he was doing a shipwreck and you're just oh, saving okay. saving the green beans for the end because shipwreck just eats through one section at a time. I eat my my food like it's in a TV dinner tray. <laughs> I eat every little section, but not I eat everybody. that section, and then I eat the next section, and then I eat the next thing. But I didn't eat a TV dinner tray like that. I would eat a little at a time. Well, eat the dessert first. What's and then... the point of even having them in different compartments then? You I might think... as well just mix it all together. <laughs> Um. Yeah, you know, in Japan, they teach the kids to do the opposite. They literally teach the kids to eat a little bit of each section throughout the meal. Like they call it 
Santabe Taka. I don't forgot what they call it, but it's like triangle you, eating. <laughs> you can tell if I if I really enjoy the food that I'm eating because I won't do that. Like it, it has oh. to be really really good for me not to do that. Otherwise, I'm just going. I eat it all. It's not like I'm picky about what I'm eating. Right. I'm just eating it very organized. Right. Interesting. What if you eat in like a family style situation and you're just taking a little bit at it? There's like plates and you just take at a time. Like then I'm going to take the mashed potatoes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it all on my plate, but I'm gonna eat all the mashed potatoes first, and then I'm gonna eat the green beans, and then I'm gonna eat the meatloaf or whatever's in there. What if it's at a Chinese restaurant and the dishes come out staggered, and so you get like some soup dumplings first, and then they bring out the string beans? Like, do you have to eat all? It's the... order of operations there. You, if whatever they bring me first is what I'm going to eat, <laughs> and I'm gonna finish. And then you won't move on to the string beans thing. until they finished with the soup dumplings. Right. Why would I want the next thing until I'm done eating this thing? <laughs> I look at it the complete opposite way. Like I want to see, I want to ration everything. So I have like, I don't run out. I don't want to go through the fried chicken right away. No, that's crazy talk. I know. No, huh? I, that's, that's not how I eat at all. Japanese society disagrees with your methods, Ship. I'm sorry to report. Anyway, they, well, they you put guys are were... little bento boxes. It's like they were encouraging me to eat that way. Yes. Uh, I'm not to, not to interrupt, but I did look up according to taste Atlas. Of the top ten best Peking ducks in the world, great. The number I ten never, yeah. is the number ten is New York City, great. And nine through one are all in China. Great. <laughs> it was it was really tough to find a good one in in Yakuza. I know right. that there was yeah. a lot of conversation about where to get the best right. Peking duck. Yeah, right. none but, none in none in Japan. When I went to I, Hong, I could tell you that we didn't find a good one. Yeah, there's none in Japan. No. There's none what. Maybe by the end of the game, according to Taste Atlas, there's no good Peking duck. I feel like the ending of this game, I'm going to find the the, the great Peking duck place in Yakuza. Like, that's going to be the culmination of this whole journey. When we went to Hong Kong, there's a restaurant called, it's called like Peking House or. Yeah, that's a fairly common name for Peking duck places. It's a, but it was like a nice, like a fancy place in Hong Kong. And we Mm -hmm. asked, I remember we asked the concierge at the hotel to make a reservation there it was it was it was a full restaurant it wasn't a peking duck house you know it was called it wasn't called peking duck house it was anyway so they made us a reservation there and then when we showed up and we're looking at the menu and stuff and they just brought out the the peking duck and we didn't order anything and we're like what what's going on and like oh the hotel said that you wanted peking duck and they're like no no we just wanted the reservation at the peking house and then we had to eat the Peking duck. I wouldn't be it too was upset about way that. Way too much for two people. <laughs> oh, you mean too much food? <laughs> yes, it was just it was obscene. I was like, oh. I tried looking up best Peking duck in Cincinnati. <laughs> What'd you find? Uh, yum yum Chinese. That sounds really okay. Good. I know where yum yum Chinese sounds is. Sounds delicious. Yeah, that that's one. Uh, Oriental Walk. I. Sure. I'm sure that place is somewhere in Cincinnati. China Gourmet. Right. Good good names. Yeah. Uncle Gips. Okay, that's an actual name of something. I, okay. Are we I done love, with new I releases? I, I think so. I haven't had Peking Duck in forever. And I, now I, I want did it. play a little bit of um, Umihara Kawase Bazooka. <laughs> that sounds like it's about anime tits. Is that about big anime tits? If you have to think about it, the answer is yes. They're kind of they're, I I think they're supposed to be in there, but the, it's the characters are really small and and so I don't know. You can't tell the size that. of the tits. Yeah. Got it. Um, Fair enough. It it is a almost it's like a combination of Smash Brothers and Bomberman style okay. gameplay. So a little bit of Kirby style stuff tied in there. Like as you defeat enemies, you suck them up and then you can blast them. A, across the screen with the bazooka and you take out your waves of enemies and everything. Uh, it's it's a cute little fun game. You can play co-op and multiplayer and everything with it. It has a has an arcade mode as well. All right. But I, it has all your favorite characters from um, Umihara Kawase. I don't know what that is. I don't I don't either. I just know that there are other Proud. Players. Proud to say I don't know what that is. It tells me what games they're from is the only reason. Like on the character select screen, there's like 20 something characters. Right. And it tells you what what games they're from. I had not played any of the games. 
I uh, I see this game called Autobahn Police Simulator 2. That sounds good. I want to check that out. Is that a PC, fun. PC, PC? No, Xbox One, it says. Oh. Uh, I th- it sounds it sounds like title good title, disappointing game. Right. It sounds like to me. Well, it was, the first one was successful enough that they made a second <laughs> they one. Made so a a good, second. It's a good sign, I feel. And they probably True. optimized by the Just second Just like one. Scary Movie too. Right. Mm-hmm.